welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about another incident behind bars. It all unfolded at California State Prison, Sacramento. On Thursday, July 6 at 9.23 a.m., two incarcerated people, Juan Martinez and Ray Cisco Martinez, allegedly attacked another incarcerated person, Michael Torres, whose nickname is Mosca, which means fly in Spanish. Michael Torres was from the Sanford Gang. Originally from the Sanford Gang, Torres was sponsored for membership in the Mexican Mafia by one of its founders, Luis Huero Buff Flores, in 1994 at Pelican Bay State Prison and was a made member of the Mexican Mafia who controlled the gangs in the San Fernando Valley and controlled drug and extortion rackets in the Los Angeles County Jails. Torres sustained multiple stab wounds and was taken to an outside medical facility while life-saving measures were performed. He was pronounced dead at 10.30 a.m. No staff or additional incarcerated people were injured. Both men have been moved to restricted housing pending investigation to the case. Officials have limited population movement on the yard to facilitate the investigation. The night of June 12, 2003, Torres knocked on the door of an apartment in North Hills. He told the man who answered that he was looking for Diablo. A gang member called Smokey had told Torres that David Diablo Mendoza had been shaking down drug dealers and prostitutes by claiming to be a Mexican Mafia member. As Mendoza approached the doorway, Torres asked if he was a carnal, a term for a Mexican Mafia member. When Mendoza lifted up his shirt as if to display his tattoos, Torres shot him in the chest. Later that night, two of Torres's underlings kidnapped Smokey. They beat him, strangled him with the rope, and stabbed him with a screwdriver, but he managed to fight off his attackers and flee. When Torres was arrested, detectives searched his mother's home in San Fernando, finding bundles of cash and a crawl space, an additional $6,000 inside a coffee pot. According to a search warrant, Torres is 59 years old, was admitted from Los Angeles County on December 14, 2007 to serve 133 years to life with the possibility of parole for attempted second-degree murder, possession of a firearm by a felon, criminal threat to cause great bodily injury or death, and attempting to prevent or dissuade a victim or witness. All as a third striker, he received enhancements for street gang activity and commission of a serious felony. Torres was under indictment in federal court at the time of his death, charged with conspiring with the Aryan Brotherhood to traffic heroin. 49-year-old Ray Martinez, who by the tattoo on his neck is from the MS-13 gang, was admitted from Los Angeles County on April 22, 1996 to serve life without the possibility of parole for first-degree murder and second-degree robbery with enhancements for use of a firearm. While incarcerated on June 11, 2021, he was sentenced to another 22 years for assault by a prisoner with a weapon or force likely to cause great bodily injury and possession or manufacturing of a weapon by a prisoner as a second striker. He also received an enhancement for having a prior felony conviction. It is not clear what gang Juan Martinez is from. Kind of hard to tell or read the tattoos, but he is a South Sider with a 13 tattoo. 47-year-old Juan Martinez was admitted from Los Angeles County on October 27, 1993 to serve life with the possibility of parole for attempted first-degree murder. While incarcerated on April 7, 1997, Martinez was sentenced to another four years for possession or manufacturing of a deadly weapon by a prisoner. Also, while incarcerated, on August 30, 2001, Martinez was sentenced to another 27 years, four months, for attempted second-degree murder and assault with a deadly weapon on a peace officer or fireman, both as a second striker. He also received an enhancement for inflicting great bodily injury. There has not been a clear motive as to why Torres was killed.